Welcome to the Popish Plot. I'm Mike. And I'm Nate. Today is Taco Tuesday. So today's plot is tacos. But Mike, we're not going to be having any tacos today. But but let's taco about Jesus. I know, and it, 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 Taco Tuesday, but we already ate all the tacos. So then what is today's plot? Well, today's plot is that this is our first episode. Well, I don't mean any, I mean no offense, but that doesn't sound like much of a plot. Well, the first Popish plot wasn't really much of a Popish, much, wasn't really much of a plot anyways. I mean, it was the one time in history when the Jesuits weren't up to something. But, uh, So, for those of you who are here because you've been searching the internets for the Popish plot, probably to work on a history assignment, I beg you, do not cite us as a primary source. Just, just don't. So the real Popish plot wasn't even a real plot. It was a hoax perpetrated by the evil perjurer Titus Oates <coughs> in the reign of King Charles II of England to whip up an anti-Catholic hysteria that between 1678 and 1681 claimed the lives of scores of innocent Catholics, men and women who had done nothing more than try to live out their faith in peace and to please God by their lives. For those of you who are here because you are our friends and our family and we have somehow managed to convince you that you should watch this, hello! And for those of you who are here because you've been randomly clicking through YouTube shows to fill the empty spaces in your life, first off, blink. Secondly, there's a whole list of things over here that you might enjoy watching, but before you go and watch them, I recommend that you stay right here and just finish it, finish out this episode because it's entirely possible that you need to see this show. Just consider the possibility that your random scouring is not so random after all, but through an irreducibly complex chain of events, you have been led to be here at this precise moment in your life because improbable as it may seem, we have something to say that you need to hear. And if, by some chance, God has willed that you need to be here, may he also have mercy on your soul and on ours. So, all of that aside, why are we here? Well, Mike, I'm here because my wife told me I had to be. Interestingly, Nate, your wife told me I had to be here also. Yes, and we're also here because tasty, tasty tacos. You can bribe us to get just, just about anywhere. And they, were, and they were delicious. They Thank were. you, Jennifer. But the real reason why we are here is because my wife gave up our spare couch so that we could go and build this set. And that's why I need to listen to what she says, because if she kicks me out of bed, I don't really have any place to go. Well, I guess you could always sleep in your car. And it's not really that comfortable. Well, but bribery and threats aside, the real reason we're here is joy. The joy of knowing what the Lord has done for us and what we think he can do for you. And wanting to share what he's done for us and our joy that we have because of that with you. You know, G.K. Chesterton once wrote that it's a test of a good religion whether or not you can joke about it. And we firmly intend to put Catholicism, the best religion, to that test That's mercilessly. Right. All this talk about loving and sharing and going out there and things it sounds an awful lot like this whole new evangelization they keep talking about at church. Well, don't worry, Nate. The new evangelization is just like the old evangelization, only faster. Really? Oh, it's because we have the internet and all this new technology to help us out. But the real emphasis of the new evangelization is to recapture the original Christian message. That it's not the responsibility of the hierarchy, it's not the responsibility of the clergy or the religious, but every single one of us is called to be salt and light, to shine forth the joy of Christian, Christian living to a world that is desperately in need of healing. And, you know, the, the point that needs to be made is that you, we, can't share that with somebody unless we're sharing with them our stories our experiences, what God has done with, for us, and the love that, and the love and the joy that we have because of that fact. You know, we could go out and we could beat people with the Bible and tell them how they're not good enough all day long. It's not going to help them become Christians, ever. Because you know what God has done for you. 
I know what he's done for me. And how can I keep that joy to myself? But, even though we are officially commissioned by our baptism, it should be said, we have not in any way been sanctioned by the hierarchy of the Catholic Church. At least, not yet. Your move, Your Holiness. Please don't excommunicate us. Please. Don't. Please, please don't We're just trying. Us. We're just trying. But, you know, I, I think really that's about the point of the, the Popish plot and what it is that we're here to do. We are two Catholic gentlemen who are just trying to share our love of our faith with the people of the world around us. So if by some chance, while watching the show, you know, you've, you've made it this far, so clearly we haven't scared you away yet. So go down below, hit the like button, hit subscribe, make sure you hit the notification bell, so that way you'll be notified when other, when other episodes come out, like, this, like the episode we have later this week for Thursday, which is going to be our Theology Thursday episode. So that's when we have tacos. No, unfortunately, we're not going to be have ta having tacos that day, Mike. In fact, we're going to have to spend some time talking about a song that you really don't like. Could you be more specific? Because there's a lot of songs that I don't like. Yes, well, this particular one is one that you've been really vocal about not liking. And we're going to go on and share bits of it with the, other, with the people out there so they can understand why as good of a song as it might be musically... Theologically and lyrically, it really needs some work. You might even say that this song is deeply, deeply flawed. Yes, you might. So remember, until next time, love, live your faith. Love your faith. Share, Share that love. love. Thank you.